Snake Boy is back. And today we are looking at what an Asian baby girl eats in a day. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Asian baby girls don't actually go to the gym. They just take drugs and go to raves. That's how they lose weight and work out. But uh, hey, guys, she's from New York. She could have been uh, Tatomi's replacement, you know? Now, before we get started, I do want to point out the drastic contrast between fitness lifestyles in young men versus young women. There are a lot of young guys out there trying to eat healthy, high-protein diets, go to the gym, work out, and they look great. On the other hand, girls aren't really doing that. You know, They're following crappy Starbucks, uh, poop your pants, pumpkin frappuccino, spice, apple pie stuff. You know, That's what the girls are doing. And in contrast, these females don't have enough animal protein and high-quality nutrition in their diet. Their hormones are all messed up, and it makes them lazy, and they don't want to work out. So, you know, when you have someone who works out on a high-protein diet and someone who doesn't work out on a low-protein diet, that's basically looking at, you know, someone who's very, very healthy in physical shape and then the complete opposite, although, you know, the amount of time and effort put in to the diet and exercise routine isn't nearly as drastic as the dramatic physical appearance differences. So, yeah, ladies need to uh, stop going to Starbucks and uh, get in the gym, right? And even if they do get in the gym, a lot of them don't eat enough protein, but let's get started on this. Bro, this is what I need. I need these cute little comics, like... Someone can Photoshop like Hitomi next to me, except her chest is like the size of those two pillows on the couch. And I'm just sitting there chilling with my evil snake tattoos. Good morning, Pika. Good morning. summer in New York City. Every day. I mean, I don't think anyone in New York really has a clear face. You know, the combination of the high radiation EMF environments destroying your digestion plus all the pollutants and the fluoride and crappy water used to make all the foods in the city. It's just, those are two very hard things to get past. Start the day with two cups of fluoridation. Honestly, I want to know, if you guys have ever lived in a city, did you actually like sleep or you kind of just lied in bed most of the night? I have such a hard time believing that these people even sleep, but that's what she needs the coffee for, I guess. Good morning, you guys. Another day, another vlog. So if you're a real one, you can tell that this little setup is a bit different. This little couch is usually against this window right here, and that table was once here. But I realized this couch was completely blocking the view of people walking around outside, and my cat Pika loves to watch people walking around. <laughs> so yeah, if you're wondering why I did this whole setup, it was literally for my cat. But you guys already knew that I was a crazy cat lady anyway, so I'm kind of liking this setup more than I thought. Let me know what you guys think. She's kind of cute, no? But you know what's funny to me about cat ladies is like they'll be in love with their cats, and I guess this is kind of kind of morbid, but you know, if someone passes away and they have pets, cats will typically like eat the person. So isn't it kind of like ironic that you you go your whole life, you love these cats, da da da, and like mere hours after you're gone, they're just eating your face off. 
You know, that's that's my personal that, that those are my sentiments and feelings towards cats. Not as much dogs, but but yeah, welcome to another What I Eat In A Day video. Your girl has really been improving on her cooking, okay? I've been cooking myself a lot more meals. Literally a year ago, I could barely cook anything for myself. So we love the growth. Always, I start my day off with a coffee. I literally need this to function during the day. I do have a training session this morning. So before that, I'm gonna make some brekkie. Let's go. No, I gotta show. Not the show. All right, before I even dig into my breakfast, I'm a cat mom first, so I gotta make sure my girl Pika eats too. Pika, are you hungry? <coughs> yeah? <laughs> you guys, I trained her to meow at me every single time I ask that question. Look, she ran over here. Cats are a lot smarter than you think, okay? Good girl, I'm gonna get you your food right now. I mean, it's kind of a normie breakfast. It's like a healthy version of a normie breakfast. At least she's having eggs. Bread's okay if you're eating organic sourdough. Maybe she does have organic bread, but even so, unless you're making the bread yourself, it's definitely made with like low quality fluoridated water, which, you know, if the rest of your diet is clean, it's kind of hard to justify eating that. I'm not a fan of avocados. They're kind of high in flavonoids. Uh, not really that great on the gut. The fatty acid profile isn't the best, but if you enjoy them a little bit here and there, it's not the worst food to have. She does have the animal protein with the eggs, but you want to get the highest quality farm fresh corn and soy free eggs uh, to make sure their fatty acid ratios aren't too out of whack. And also that, you know, the chicken eggs aren't too polluted with antibiotics or chemicals or, or crap sprayed on typical commercial feeds. Bananas can be high in anti-nutrients. Uh, so usually you want to cook them. And peanut butter, also very inflammatory food, usually high in molds, toxins, very poor fatty acid ratio. So if you had like a cooked banana with some macadamia nut butter or and basically any other type of nut butter on top, it would be a bit healthier. All right, my little pre-workout breakfast is served. Got an avocado toast with egg on top. Everything but the bagel seasoning. If you've never tried that on your toast, you're missing out because it is so yeah, fire. It I also sliced up some banana and I added some peanut butter on top because I was craving something sweet this morning. So I also have my daily vitamins from Care Of. Look how cute, it even has my name on it. I mean, maybe she has a sponsorship. Oh yeah, she does. It's up right up here. All right, we're, we're going to skip the vitamin sponsorship, but most of the time, this is just like low quality laboratory chemical processed crapola with like cute marketing and a ridiculous upcharge on it. So there's usually like multivitamins, omega-3s, the, the, the dosage is incorrect. The form of the vitamin is incorrect. It's just not good for you. We've done so many videos on why collagen powder is bad. It's just bleached beef waste basically companies like this and athletic greens are making so much money and they're not actually improving people's health you guys can check out organsupplements.com for basically the only non-scam supplements online it's a very shady industry dude it's a very shady industry you know i, I bet you everything on this website is double to triple the price uh, of what i'm selling and it's it's just it's all shady nonsense they, they control the media they control the marketing so you got companies like this, snake oil, pocketing billions of dollars every year, while idiots like me are living in a fucking box. Go figure. Whenever I want to skip upper body, this man comes to ruin my life. I mean, she's like a rich Asian girl, I think. I was going through her video feed. She goes to NYU. She's got her own apartment. She has a personal trainer. So, go figure. Bro, 
Thank I mean, you. I was just joking about the Starbucks drinks, but I guess I'm right. Bro, can we get a fluoride counter? I bet, dude, I bet girls just drink so much more fluoride than guys do solely based off of these Starbucks drinks. Yeah, when I used to live in New York, I used to go to H Mart like once a week just to try to find like an Asian girlfriend, but I always went at the worst times. Like I never went on the weekend when it was busy. Hello you guys, so we are back home. I took a shower, feel nice and clean. I am hungry, borderline hangry right now. <laughs> so we are gonna make myself some lunch. What I'm about to make right now is by far one of the easiest lunches to make like ever, seriously. Like honestly, a five-year-old can make this, but it's like my go-to meal, especially if I'm like, I'm tired and I don't feel like cooking a whole meal or times like now where I'm just super hungry and I wanna eat asap let me put you guys on my go-to meal lately so basically what it is is a cucumber boat sushi i know that sounds a little weird but you guys will see it's so good healthy for you and it's really easy to make <laughs> I mean, just the amount of pollutants in the seafood, the arsenic and the rice, the fluoride and water and everything, eh, kind of rough, kind of rough. Lunch is served. Also, it randomly got so good. At least the protein content. Honestly, though, it's kind of a vibe, you know, like stay in type of day. Rain in New York is honestly beautiful when you're indoors. <laughs> but you know, when you're outside walking around everywhere, it is not that fun. Also, I was gonna plate it on like a separate plate, but I wanna do less dishes, guys. All right, first we got the shrimp. Mm. You guys, the crunch of the cucumber with the rice and the shrimp, so good. You guys have to try this, it's so bomb. And this is the yeah, tuna is pretty high in heavy metals. I mean, all shellfish shrimp is is very heavily polluted. A lot of the you know the can lining and the tuna, the phosphates they put on the shrimp, all the different chemicals and vegetable seed oils and those mayos and and I don't know what's in sriracha. Maybe it's just high flavonoid, high carotene, not that great for the liver. You know, she's not going organic on anything. The white rice is made with fluoridated water, low quality tap water, probably. Who knows what's in that? Rice in general is high in arsenic. Definitely don't want to eat it every day. I mean, despite how negative this meal looks like from the perspective of someone who knows all that stuff, compared to what the average person is eating, at least the animal protein content is reasonable. Tuna one. This is actually my favorite. Even if you don't like tuna, you should still try this because I'm telling you guys, something about it tastes so good with cucumber. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Bro, oh, this is like the amount of drinks that girls have, their brains must be so fried. So Iced matcha and mango with tagine. If you're a girl and you're drinking these smoothies all day and you're basically starving yourself trying to lose weight otherwise that's why you're, why you're not losing weight these, these shakes are destroying your thyroid your adrenals with the caffeine and the halogens and all, all this green crap very very bad for you very bad for you the soy milks the almond milks the oat milks so full of like flavorings and preservatives a mango with tagenia that would not be that would not be nice on my liver Usually the more colorful, the more colorful a food is, the higher the flavonoid, the carotene content. A lot of stuff needs to be processed by the liver, so. 
basically shuts down your liver function with a meal like this. Some editing done, but first, you guys already know, I'm the snacking queen, so I gotta have my snacks. First, I got my iced matcha latte. Guys, ever since I learned how to make it at home, I have been saving so much money, not buying it at these super expensive cafes, okay? Here's your sign to make your iced matcha at home. Save money, live better. And then I also got one of my favorite snacks to eat, I'm telling you, literally just mango with a squeeze of lemon and tahine. Listen, if you don't know tahine, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, what are you doing? Delish. Well, look who joined us, Miss Pika. <laughs> she thinks I'm stretching her right now. Hey guys, this is how she supports me while I edit. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We're gonna eat some Korean food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys, this girl's so sick of me. <laughs> Koreans usually very, very healthy diets. Like Korean food in general is usually very good for you. A lot of, to be fair, a lot of Asian food is. I just took off this cap off this bottle because it's new. I buy my cat Pika every single cat toy that you can think of, okay? But she will go crazy over something like this. 10 times more than any cat toy I spend money on. Pika! <laughs> there she goes. What was that? Just ground beef? Looks like cat food. Is that for our cat or for her? She's making one plate for her cat or... <laughs> La crap. Bro, bro. 10 out of 10. Say it louder. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Oh my god. What a bro. What a simp soy boy. Bro. Bro. I have no idea what half that stuff she put in that beef bulgogi is. Maybe she put it in the recipe. It looked like um, some hummus and some Korean seasoning paste. I guess the main concern there would be, you know, the vegetable seed oils. Maybe maybe it was something miso or soy based. So possibly some estrogen concerns too by the look of him. He, he's getting plenty of estrogen from her cooking. Just more, bro, honestly, I, I get it, bro. I get it. With the amount of fluoride that the average person drinks every day, that explains a lot of things. My boyfriend and I are going to watch the new Oppenheimer movie. And you know, ever since I've been watching movies since I was young, I always bring my own snacks and I get popcorn. I'm a snack girl. Like I always need snacks when I watch a movie. I don't think I've ever watched a movie without snacks, but anyway, we're trying to be a little bit healthier. So I'm bringing smart sweets. This is like, you know, um, fake Swedish fish, it's like healthy version, like less sugar, you know? A lot of these uh, fake candies and stuff, the types of sugars in them really mess up your gut microbiome. The protein for the gains. We got some beef jerky. And of oh, course, is this is this the only reasonable thing she's eaten all day? Grass-fed beef jerky. So you gotta hide it in some sort of bag. So I'm gonna hide it in my purse. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. Come on. Ding. <laughs> Let's go. Bro, honestly. These fake candies and stuff, just enjoy a Twix bar or a Snickers bar. And are they that much worse for you? I don't know. I haven't had candy in God knows how many years. Maybe we should do some recipes. Bro, popcorn in most theaters, not fresh. And I think that butter is actually just uh, a lot of the time. It's like a vegetable seed oil with butter flavoring. It's not even real butter. All right. So overall, I was kind of surprised about the amount of animal protein in her diet relative to her body composition. Uh, 
I guess she, she does look pretty good, pretty healthy. Um, so, somewhat decent amount of muscle mass because she is having, you know, a large amount of protein, an adequate amount of animal protein with each meal. I just think she has uh, a lot of negatives, a lot of chemicals overall, and that the uh, starch and fiber content of the diet uh, should be a little bit higher in comparison to uh, the amount of sugar and stuff that she's having in these uh, these drinks. So what, what she's doing is, you know, she'll have relatively low carbohydrate meals, you know, like she's just having one slice of bread for breakfast. She's having just a little bit of rice for lunch and then a little bit of rice for dinner. But, you know, between all these meals, she's having these, you know, giant smoothies and sugar and all that stuff. So add some fiber, add more starch with the actual meals and uh, stop drinking all these crappy smoothies and coffee and everything. Yeah, I don't even know if it's just an American thing as opposed to like girls specifically, but you know, these these Starbucks drinks and and always drinking stuff all day and, and even if it's low sugar substitutes, it's just it's so full of chemicals, it's so bad for your body and you know, it's a big reason so many people are so unhealthy right now. But uh you know, definitely healthier than a lot of people still so much that actually needs to be done to be healthy and even outside of the diet there, there's a lot that needs to be done but thanks for joining guys hopefully you've enjoyed this uh if you can drop a like on the video leave me a comment down below make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell and of course guys go to frank com because at this point all of these scammers should be out of business but they're not so go figure I'll see you guys soon.